Now we're going to look at the rows highlight date range template at SharePoint dashboards.com. This template allows you to highlight dates in a specific range. This might be useful if there's a particular window of time that's important, uh, say for projects that you're working on. By default, it's set to have a range starting seven days before the current date and seven days after. In other words, a two week window of time. The range start and range end are relevant to the current date. If you want to change that date range, you can change these to whatever values you want. For example, if I wanted to have a date range which was today, and then the next two weeks after today, I would set the range start to zero because I wanted to add zero days to the current date. And I'd set the date range end to 14, meaning two weeks after the date range end. You can use whichever numeric values you want in days to specify the range. All of the date rows inside of the range are going to use the color setting for the in range BG color setting. Everything before that is going to use the less than range background color. Everything after is going to be the more than range background color. You can also do the same. You can change colors for the three different range settings for the text color as well. As with all the templates, you can check some presets on the themes um, to check there may be a particular theme that you like. Note that you do need to set the name of the SharePoint field in order for this to work correctly. In my case, I have a list set up called projects with a column called due date. I need to provide that column into the template. So I set due date and now I'm ready to go. I just need to select copy template and then I can go over to SharePoint and I'm going to go to the view formatting since this is a view formatting template. I'll do advanced and I just need to paste in the provided code. So in my case, I have my records that are before the date range set with a green background records with dates inside of the date range are yellow and then ones that are after my date range are set blue. And that's all there is. Hopefully you can find this as a useful way to highlight important dates that are inside of a range. Good luck.